Well, welcome back. Take a look there. That's our Tools for Teachers program sponsored by Weber Chevrolet. We're proud to feature Mr. Kyle Gordon from Collinsville High School this month. Nice. Mr. Gordon teaches social studies, but his enthusiasm for student council has inspired hundreds of his students to participate and have a voice in the school. And Mr. Gordon was nominated for our award by student Kelsey Jeffries, and they both join us now in studio. Good afternoon. Thank you for being here, and congratulations to you. So we'll start with you, uh, Kelsey. What makes Mr. Gordon so special? Why did you take the time to nominate him? Um, blah, 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 blah. I, didn't I nominated him because he's been a big part of my life, especially in Collinsville High School mm -hmm. and student council. That um, He's really taught me to be a real leader in our school. That's great. Now, I understand your student council has 400 members, right? So yes. I, was a, I was actually student council president when I was in uh, school, but it was a much more manageable, smaller number. That is a ex lot of people, right? That's an exceptional number of people? Yes. Well, how, what, what do you do as a group that, that large, and why do so many people want to be involved? Um, with our group, we do a lot of fundraising so that we can do certain things in the community. I know we do a thing with a um, underprivileged elementary school hmm. where we bring them Christmas every year. So it's really great to see the community aspect. That is nice. Yeah, Mr. Gordon, can, congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Student council obviously has a big important role in your in your teaching. You're a social studies teacher. I'm sure you're great Absolutely. at that. But 400 students part of a council. How? What does that? What does that feel like? That must be a it, tribute to you. It's really we nice. Collinsville High School actually has the largest student council in the entire country, and currently there are 415 students at Collinsville High School that that make up our student council and one of my big beliefs is if you are a student that wants to make a difference in your community make a difference in your school there shouldn't be any elections to hold kids back so anybody that wants to be a part of our student council is more than welcome to be a part of it. That's a good point. I hadn't really thought about that, but that is the way student council usually works. You have elections in homeroom or in, mm -hmm. in, 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 some, in some class or whatever, and then you represent and you're the elected body. But in your case, if you're interested and you want to help make things better, you just kind of show up and do it. Huh? Absolutely. Very, very nice. What, what, um, what is being the student council advisor like? How, how does that kind of fit into your overall teaching philosophy? Uh, my overall teaching philosophy is, is, you know, every single day students come in and out of my classroom. I also uh, teach a leadership course as well. And I feel like if they are there and they're, they're there to learn, it's my job to make sure that they learn as much as they possibly can. And along with student council, I believe that a lot of learning takes place in the classroom, but a lot also takes place outside of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm proud to say Collinsville High School provides more opportunities with extracurricular activities, with sports, for almost every student to take part in. There truly is something for every single student at Collinsville High School to feel a part of it and work with. And you're right, that matters so much, you know, as, a, as, a, as to complement what happens inside school. Absolutely. The, uh, the uh, stuff that you do outside. Have you ever had, had him as a teacher, as a socialist yes. teacher? Yes, he was my AP U.S. History teacher last year. And I then, love AP U.S. History. Yes. That's great. That's it was great. one of my favorite classes last year, partly because he made it so fun to so actually fun. be in class. Are you a junior or senior? I'm a senior. Cool. And then this year I'm in his leadership class. Nice. What so. are your plans after, uh, after high school? I want to play collegiate volleyball and I want to study civil and mechanical engineering. Very nice. That's awesome. Good for you. Good for you. you. And you've got a, a volleyball match tonight. Yes. Against? Waterloo High School. Okay. Okay. Very, very good. Well, Kelsey Jeffries and Kyle Gordon, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. We have our check here, of course, $500 from our friends at Weber Chevrolet, our Tools for Teachers program. We do it every month. Mr. Gordon can use that whatever way he wants. Somehow I bet it will make its way into the uh, student council funds at some point to do more good for the, <coughs> excuse me, for the students and the community at Collinsville. Thank you so much. If you Thank would like you. to nominate someone for our uh, Tools for Teachers program, you can do it online. It's made possible by Weber Chevrolet. It's easy to nominate at kplr11.com. All right, to add to the uh, bonus of having $500, we have a nice weekend as well for Mr. Gordon and everybody else in the uh, St. Louis area. Meteorologist Annalise Park standing by in the Weather Center with the forecast. Annalise?